What do you do for a living? I'm a stand-up comedian, which means I'm unemployed and I do stand-up on the side. How you doing, brother? Do you want to introduce yourself really quickly? My name is Preacher Lawson, and I'm king of the jungle! I'm just playing. I don't even know what that means. I don't know where that came from. It just came out. Do you want to describe yourself in three words? I, uh, three words, uh, chocolate, loud, and, and hungry. I'm hungry right now. If you were to get matching tattoos, what would they be? It would, the matching tattoos, I would probably get, uh, I don't know, something with my brother. You know what I mean? You said your brother was a comedian and vegan. Yeah, he's a comedian, he's a wow. vegan. You know, he, cool. it, it, you know, he's a vegan before, he did it for health reasons. And then I used to be like, I did it for ethical reasons, and I would talk to him about it. I'd be like, man, I'm a vegan, you know, uh, for ethical reasons, and this is wrong, da da da. And he was like, you won't make me go back to eating meat. And then he, this is what always happens. So anytime someone's vegan long enough, they slowly start doing it for ethical reasons, you know? So, yeah. They start the health back. Yeah. Reasons. So he was like, I remember one time I was arguing with someone and he was like, no, that's wrong with the animals. And I was like, wait a second. Wait a second, Justin. You know. But do you want to go through your vegan story really quickly? Because you watched Earthlings. Some yeah. Believe your ex was involved. I was, I was, so what happened was I was, um, I was uh, watching a documentary where they were taking the elephant tusk and they were killing the elephants just for the tusk, not even their meat. And then they would uh, sell it to the someone else for like money, and I thought that was so stupid. And I remember watching my ex, and I was like, "Man, this is crazy that they're doing this," you know. And as I'm eating the burger, I'm like, ah, "That's crazy that they kill the animals for no reason." And then I thought about it, and I was like, "I'll try it." And I tried it, so I became a vegetarian for a year, and then I tried veganism uh, after that, and I seen Earthlings, and I was like, "Okay, I'll never eat meat again." Never went back. Never Have went you been back. tempted? No. no, 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 no. I can I, I can I, I, yeah. I just, I just don't get. I don't think it's necessary. You know what I mean? Ever date a non vegan? Nope. Never. I would never date a non vegan. Not even if they're like really close to being. If they were a vegetarian, transitioning into vegan, something like that, or they were trying to be a vegan. Yeah, I would date someone that's trying to be a vegan. But if someone's like, I eat meat, I'm like, well, hey, hey, eat meat over there. <laughs> I wouldn't date someone that's not a vegan. Uh, and you're single, right? I'm single. You been on any vegan dates? Recently? Single, red, the mango. I mean, yeah, I've been on some vegan dates, you know? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> any, uh, do you want to expand on that? Oh, no, I mean, well, I mean, yeah. We just went out and ate some vegan food. In London? <laughs> In London? Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe I went on, <laughs> I don't, you know, maybe I went on a date or something with, a, with another vegan. I mean, I go on d vegan dates all the time. Anytime I go to a city, I actually post on my story. I'm like, hey, guys, anybody want to take me out for vegan food? So, and anyone that replies, usually I just go out to eat with them. It's a good strategy. And yeah, you yeah. travel a lot, right? I do travel a lot. Yeah, so. it's efficient, efficient yeah. template for Well, also, also, I'm sad and lonely all the time. So I need somebody. No, I'm joking. That reminded me of the, what's the joke you did in like, to County 2017 about how you've been single for three years. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. After being single for a long time, it was like, who needs teeth? You know, like you smile with your heart. No, I'm joking. Is uh, love at first sight possible? Uh, I, mean, I fall in love at first sight all the time. So, I mean, I don't know if it's possible, but I, I think I fall in love and then I talk to him and I'm like, I don't like you. And I stop. So it is possible. So I think it's, it's not real. What Earthling Ed said yesterday when he did this yesterday was love at first sight, maybe, but when you first talk to somebody, that's when you know. It's really? Kind of what you're saying, right? Where you see somebody you like him, but until you talk to them, you're not sure. Yeah, I mean, I think I think love at first, I mean, I didn't know he answered this same question. That's pretty cool. Now it's pressure, you know what I mean? <laughs> A lot of pressure. I didn't know you did something, Earthling Ed. No, okay. Um, I, I think, I don't, I don't believe, I think love at first sight is not true. If I'm being totally honest, I don't think it's true. But um, I do feel like you know somebody, um, I mean, you, you kind of know, like when you're dating somebody, you could date somebody two weeks and you kind of know if you want to, you know, want to be with them long term. I mean, there's plenty of relationships I got in. I'm like, this, this is a bad idea, you know, and I just stuck through it. So. Any memorable stories that you can expand on? Or? On, on me dating someone that I shouldn't have yeah. been with? Uh, I think that's every girl I've ever dated. I've, every every girl I've ever dated, had I've never wanted to be in a relationship. And then they were so dope that I was like, all right. And then I got in a relationship when I shouldn't have. Because all my exes are pretty cool, man. They're really, they're really, uh, they're really good people. So they trapped me. Have you ever double dipped hummus at a party? Yes. I don't know if it's hummus, but I've double dipped for sure. And I'll do it again. If you ever invite, invite me to your party, get ready for some double dipping. Quinoa or rice? Quinoa! 
Watermelon or bananas? Banana. Beyond or Impossible Burger? Impossible. Ooh. Yeah. What do you think of the Beyond Burger? I, don't, I think Beyond Burger is great, but Impossible is impossible to match. What's I, sexier, funny or intelligent? Funny, man. Vegetables I don't or care fruit. if she's smart. All right, what happened? Uh, vegetables or fruit? Uh, fruit. iPhone or Android? iPhone because I'm cool. All right? I mean, you got an Android. He's the only cool person without it. I mean, come on, iPhone, baby. iPhone is on the downfall, though. They're on the down, right? Okay. Rihanna or Beyonce? Beyonce, baby. And she's got a plant-based diet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. Hey, yeah. You double Beyonce then. Cats or dogs? Dogs. How long have you been in England for? I've been in England for a week tomorrow. London specifically, right? London specifically. And what is the most English thing you've experienced? I had tea. Crumpets and tea. I'm just playing. That was really bad. Sorry. You Sorry. Re <laughs> you recently on America's Got Talent uh, and also you were finalist in 2017, right? I was a finalist in, uh, in 2017 and I was a finalist uh, this year in Champions. And you cracked a vegan joke. I did crack a vegan joke. How was that? Were you, were you worried that you'd be like the, the no. preachy vegan, especially as your name's Preacher? I know, right? Preachy <laughs> vegan. No, no pun intended. Uh, no, I didn't think about being a, a preachy vegan because I've done that joke be before and people laugh. Even if you're not a vegan, it's a funny bit. Pigs are smarter than chimpanzees. They're just ugly. And you can't eat something just because it's ugly. Because if that's the case, some of y'all looking tasty tonight. Right? That's <laughs> if I'm being real. Right? That vegan bit is like, it's, a, it's like maybe six minutes. But I had to chop it down to like a minute and a half because you can't do eight minutes on. And then also, I would have lost them. Because <laughs> I get like, I'll, I'll, start, I'll start talking about veganism on stage. And I'll get like emotional. And I'll be like, I mean, you guys are eating all these people. No, yeah. Hip hop um, or pop? Um, if we're talking about Michael Jackson, pop. You know what I'm saying? I would listen to Michael Jackson over anyone. But uh, probably hip hop right now. Last thing you splurged on? I bought Tesla. That's right. I bought a Tesla and I posted on my social media and I was like, hey guys, I spoiled myself. That's why I thought I posted, but apparently I posted to my family. If you need money, let me know. Because that's what they asked for. Bus or cheap? Two, baby. Roses or something? Roses. Do you Instagram your food? No. London cabs or New York taxis? Never been to New York cabs. Weights or cardio? Uh, both. <laughs> Netflix or YouTube? Um, the YouTube by far. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Swimming or sunbathing? Uh, come on, I'm black. We don't sunbathe. <laughs> sunbathing. Yeah, yeah. And we don't swim either, so neither. <laughs> That's funny. Football or basketball? Basketball, man. What you? Ugh. Uh, you talking about football as an American football or? Uh, soccer, I guess. Okay, right. well, definitely no. <laughs> What's worse, doing the laundry or doing the dishes? Uh, doing, uh, doing the laundry is worse. I mean, excuse me, doing the dishes is worse because you get the grandma hands, you know, from washing, you know, all wrinkly and stuff. Burger or wrap? Uh, burger. Favorite vegan meal? My favorite vegan meal? Vegan fried chicken. Uh, what is the best thing about being vegan, in your opinion? Saving lives! That's probably the best thing, right? Oh, Saving man. lives, yeah. Who's your favorite celebrity? Earthling Ed! Oh, we're talking about vegan celebrities, right? Yeah, we'll Or just, oh, we'll okay, my bad. My favorite celebrity is Will Smith. I think that's, that's my favorite human being. But if we're talking about favorite vegan celebrities, it's Earthling Ed. And Will Smith's son is proper. I know, he's, he's a vegan, right? Yeah, I love Jaden. Um, I can't live it. What vegan celebrities out there that you haven't met that you want to meet? Uh, uh, I, you know, uh, Serena Williams is pretty cool. Uh, uh, what's the, uh, John Legend? Uh, he's a vegan. James uh, Cameron. Kyrie, yeah, Ky I mean, James Cameron. I, I mean, he's. I think he's. I think he's dope. But I, I, I want to meet him as much as he wants to meet me, though. Uh, I think. Um, I mean, you know, same with Miley Cyrus. I think she's pretty cool. Um, you excited I just, about the game changes? The game changes. I am so pumped for that. Because, I mean, it's huge because you got Arnold Schwarzenegger who's like, he's just like, he's known for being this, this like fitness guy that's always huge in muscles. That's what he's known for. And so for him to be like, hey, veganism is the right way, that's changing the game. You got Kendra Ferris in there, the, the Olympian, the only, only Olympian, American Olympian to qualify for the Olympics. And he, that, and he broke records as a vegan. I love bringing him up. Anytime someone says something about protein, I'm like, Kendra Ferris, bam, in your face. And then they can't say nothing. 
I think uh, it's huge. Do you have any unusual hobbies? Stamp collecting. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't have any unusual. I don't think I have any unusual. I'm sure I'll think of it as soon as I leave. Um, no, nah, pretty, yeah, pretty regular, I guess. I Morning know. or night passing? Morning, no, night, night, night. I hate, I hate waking up. I hate waking up. What's your favorite animal? Uh, I don't have a favorite animal. If you could be an animal, what would you be? Um, I would be like, man, what is an animal no one messes with? <laughs> I just would, you know, definitely don't want to be a gazelle. Uh, I would like to probably be, I don't like a gorilla or something. Gorilla or, or uh, yeah, gorilla's fine. What animal could you impersonate? Um, definitely not a gorilla, because I'm black. <laughs> I'm kind of weird. Um, what animal can I impersonate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you thought I was going to do something else. <laughs> so stupid. Where's your number one tip for new vegans? Obviously, you've been vegan a couple of years. Lots of people are going plant-based and vegan at the moment. Stick through it. That's uh, a lot of times, anything you do uh, new is going to be hard. So a lot of times, people are going to be like, oh, I'm trying to be a vegan. And it's hard, but if you if you don't work out and you just start going to the gym, that's gonna be hard as well. So I would say give it a month, and you know, and uh, and look up a lot of recipes because a lot of times people think it's hard because they don't know how to cook. But there's plenty of ways to cook. If you weren't a comedian, what else would you be? I would be an MMA fighter. Cool. Yeah, I love MMA. Do you MMA. Any MMA? I I try I try to train in it, but I, I didn't I don't I don't train in like that because I I. Uh, yeah, cause I just I don't I don't have enough time, so on the road. I don't have yeah I don't have the time. And then I was I was doing I was doing I was training in MMA and I was doing comedy, and I was it was I always had comedy first. So when I would go train, it was show. So you can't kind of do MMA, or it's gonna hurt. So I just remember that happening, and I was like I got to choose between comedy and MMA. And I was like you know what when I have a bad set in comedy it doesn't hurt. So I'm just gonna go and do, but I love, I love MMA. It's my favorite sport. I'm a huge fan of MMA. I know every fighter and I'm just, yeah. Um, what's your best memory from your America's Got Talent experience? <sighs> Probably um, performing on um, Champions. When I did the vegan bit, that was my favorite set. I don't like any other sets on America's Got and Talent. And some cow went vegan, or sorry, plant-based after that. Yeah, you, you're welcome. That was my idea, by the way. I planted a seed in his head, and it grew into veganism. Where have been your favorite places you lived so far? My favorite place that I've lived so far, uh, I love Orlando. And uh, that I've lived? Uh, gone to been. Visited, traveled oh, okay. To. I love London. Cool. I love London. How is London? What Sorry. Have, what have you done? Have you been like vegan cafe hopping, meeting up with people? Uh, I'm, Why I'm, did you come here as well? I came here to film, uh, uh, can I say, I don't know if I can say this. I, I came here to, when is this coming out? When will be the cutoff? Oh, okay. This, this I might, can't, this I'm, I'm just filming, I'm filming, a, I'm filming a show. Okay. okay. And uh, Yeah, I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't, I'm filming a show that's going to come out in like a couple months. So, that's all I'm, I'm here for. But, um, I haven't been able to experience, I wanted to go to Unity. I probably Unity Diner. Yeah, yeah, Unity Diner, because that's Earthling yeah. is you know spot, you know, and, um, and I'm pro I'll probably end up going there, but you know, so. What's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? What's spontaneous mean? That's the first time I've ever heard that in my life. Spontaneous? <laughs> that sounds like an evil Knievel name. That sounds like a a super villain name. Spontaneous. What does that mean? The most spontaneous thing I've ever done. You know I'm from America, right? Spontaneous. Oh, spontaneous. Yeah, so I just wanted to... Oh, <laughs> man, I felt so dumb. I was like, <laughs> no, no. even Siri was like, spontaneous. Oh, the most spontaneous I thing. To see what you okay, said. I hate you, man. I hate you. Wait a second. <laughs> I hate you, man. I was I like, what are you it. talking about? Because I said it normal. <laughs> we got an English accent, man. I don't know what you're... Montaneous. I was like, man. I was like, I feel like I'm not dumb. You know what I mean? Like I'm <laughs> feel like I'm regular. All right. So uh, I feel like I'm mildly intelligent. This is a spontaneous. Okay, spontaneous. The most spontaneous thing I've ever done. All right. Let's a clean version of this. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the most spontaneous? <laughs> Montaneous. Maybe America's got to have his first audition. Man, I, I don't know, man. I've done, um, I don't know, man. Is there any skill you'd love to master expert level? 
I just would love to learn a different language. Do you speak any Spanish? Uh, nah, uno, Say a word in uno, Spanish. Uh, uno, dos, cuatro, cinco, seis. Me llamo Preacher. Preacher. Entiendo un poco. Uh, in, I don't know. No Who sense. is the most famous person you've ever met? The most famous person I've ever met. I met Jamie Foxx. Have you ever met a celebrity that's been rude um, or not up to expectations? Yeah. But I'm I'm not yeah. gonna tell the story. Yeah, I, I met I met celebrities that are rude. I met, but I met I met um, but I don't I don't really get upset when um certain people are rude to me because especially like celebrities because they're getting harassed all the time. I didn't I I um as a kid I used to I used to say that I didn't feel bad for celebrities getting harassed because I'm like you chose this, and then I start I, I started doing stand up and then I people started to recognize me and I was like okay I get it. Because I, I, they really chose music, and then it blew them up. I chose comedy, and then, you know, so when, the people are kind of annoying. People, people get to be kind of annoying. So I don't get upset unless someone's, I meet a celebrity, and they're consistently rude to me all the time. What's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Uh, you know what? Man, this is the, the best piece of advice I've ever received. I was, um, was, someone told me to go to L.A. I mean, it's not really like some, you know, uh, it's not really like a, I guess a universal advice like, hey, follow your dream, you know, but it was, he was, I was in Florida and I was opening up for this comedian and I still haven't found him. I got to thank him. But he, he, he told me to go to LA and I was like, oh no, I was scared. And he was like, how old are you? And then I'm like, I was like, I'm 24. And he was like, I'm not going to say what he said. <laughs> he was like, man, if you don't go to LA, talking about you, you, you don't know if you can make it. If you stab somebody, you go to jail get out, you'll still be younger than me. So it's like, you have plenty of time. And I was like, that's, that's a different analogy to use. And, and I, but he was right. And then he, he convinced me to go to LA and I moved to LA and everything started changing. And we well-behaved child. Was I well Yeah, yeah. I've been, I'm, 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 anything my mom told me to, uh, not to do, I didn't do. I never, I didn't steal. My mom told me not to, that's why I don't cuss, because my mom told me not to cuss. So I grew up not cussing. So it's like, people think it's like, a, I don't know, like it's a thing they think like it's an act or something, but it's like I grew up not cussing, I grew up not using the N-word, so why would I use it now? You know, why would I start cussing? It's like if you don't say, you don't say bruh, right? So why would you just be like, yeah, bruh, what up, bruh? It's like, it's weird. Say brother, I want to hear it. Uh, I don't want to say because it's going to be so embarrassing. I, come on, no, I want to hear it, I want to hear it, I want to hear it. Like, just well, say bruh. So in, in I know y'all say bruv, but in, like. In London, it's, in South London, people used to say bruv. Yeah. Say right bruv. But then it's, but some people like, especially Australians say bruh. So like, instead of mate, they say bruh. Um, but what's, what do you want me to say, bro? Yeah, that's bruh. Bro. Bruh. No bro. Well, you know, in America, white people say bro. Black people say bruh. So white people say B-R-O. Yeah. Black people say B-R-U-H. So what's the difference in pronunciation? It, we just sound different. When we, it, oh, yeah, yeah we, we just sound different. <laughs> so... Like it just rolls out. I mean, but some people say. Um, some people. I mean, this it's it's like fusing. So, but for the most part, it's that's how it's like. How many hours of sleep do you need? Um, I, I mean, I, I need four hours. Four. I need. I have to have four hours. If I get less than four hours, then I will hate everybody. How many do you normally get? I probably get like four hours. Wow. <laughs> like four or five how hours. You, how how do you operate? Uh, I just. I don't know. I just. I operate. You. I don't know, man. I just. I just kind of operate. I feel like once you. It, I, you, you, you know, your body has an alarm clock, you know, called circadian rhythm. Y'all know about this. So it's like you, if you work, wake up and go to sleep at the same time, you're fine. It's really not. If you, if you go to sleep and, and wake up, that's, that, a lot of times you'll, you'll oversleep and you'll be like, man, I'm tired. It's because your body's so used to waking up at 9 o'clock, you're over 12. So it's like as long as you wake up at the same time, you're fine. It's not as bad. Do you like giving presents or getting presents? I like more? giving presents more than taking them. I like taking presents. Don't get me wrong. I love taking presents. But I just, I feel like when someone gives me a present, I'm excited for like 11 minutes. And I'm like, all right, this is dumb. Soak or shower gel? Shower, shower gel. Ask permission or beg forgiveness? I, uh, I mean, it just depends, depends on what we're talking about. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I usually ask for permission. Which is, it, I feel like it doesn't work in my favor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Climb a mountain or jump from a plane? I've jumped from a plane twice already, and I would do that again. Over climbing a mountain? Because climbing a mountain is scary. But I would do that. I would climb a mountain. But Who are your three favorite heroes? 
I can't pick three favorites. I, I can't. I, there's, I, I think it's impossible. That's the same like saying my top three comedians. So I mean, my my I love my mom and I love Will Smith. You know what I mean? But I, I, I um, yeah, I can't pick three people. Last question: awkward goodbye or epic fist bump? Oh, epic fist bump, and we know how to do this. <laughs>